had light a second ago. Well, I guess that's as good as it gets. Hello, everybody, and welcome back to the Clean Valley Farms channel. I am JT Bear, and today I am messing around a little bit with that Ryobi 14-inch 40-volt chainsaw that they sent me because it's time to bring down a couple of the trees around here. And, uh, yeah, it's a little bit windy, but otherwise an absolutely beautiful day to be working in the yard. So let's take a look at the trees in question, and uh, I'll fill you in on the plan. So here is the little battery-operated electric chainsaw in question, brushless motor. I'm actually pretty impressed with it so far. And here are the two trees in question. I've uh, been looking around at these things, trying to figure out what's going to be the easiest for me to drop, and what's a fair test and all that. And yes, these are tiny, skinny little trees, especially compared to that one there, or that one over there with the fence leaning up against it. But I figure we'll start with the smallest and uh, just see where confidence takes us from there. So Shox is going to come out and do a little camera work for me. Hopefully this all goes well. Yeah. Now my goal here is to drop this first one kind of in between the honeyberry bushes and the fire pit because I think it should fall before the brush pile at the end of there. So, you know, line it up, all that fun stuff. Yeah, this should work. It's been a while, but this should work. So reading through the literature that comes with the saw, it recommends making three cuts, basically the wedge on the side where you want it to fall, and cutting through but leaving a little hinge piece. I guess that helps control the fall. I don't know. I share this just as subtle proof that I've actually read the directions for a change. But, uh, yeah. Don't come to me for chainsawing advice. This is just kind of a test. Long term, my plan is to use this little electric chainsaw to maintain the apple trees and pear trees and various other things that we're going to get around the property. But first, I've got to put it through some stress, don't I? And I really need to get these things down so I can get a little more sun on my garden. So, yeah, here we go. All right, so... I hope the camera angle is decent for this, and uh, yeah, let's go. more or less where I wanted it. Maybe off by half a degree or so. Let's check how it fell. First off, this was not uh, quite as extreme of an angle as I was hoping for. I'm gonna have to watch my cuts there. But, checking down the tree, didn't hit the fire pit. It didn't hit the honeyberry, although it came bloody close. And I believe, we'll check the other end here, it didn't quite make it to the brush pile, but yeah. That came mighty close to the honeyberry there. Yeah. Still, didn't take it out. Yay. All right, so that only used one of uh, the four bars of battery on this thing, so that's not bad. Time to work my way up the tree, clean off these limbs, and then start breaking it up into usable logs. So, here we go.
So with that much of this done, we're still working on the same first tree, the same first battery. Let's check and see what's left in it. So yeah, we're at one of four and not much of it left there. But we'll do what we can to break this up into uh, more traditional log size pieces. That's a mighty fine kill you've got there. Arr. House, I suppose. No. Some no. All right, so we're going to break this up into standard log size pieces, and then uh, we might just have some different uses for the bigger end of this tree. We'll see. Let's see what we can still get out of this first battery. Well, so far so good. Need to adjust my propping log. Clean up here. And away we go. Still on the first battery, I'm impressed. And away we go. I think we might be done. Nope, just wanted to rest for a second. Okay. We're getting very close to done. But we're done. All right, first battery. Brought it down. Cut up the vast majority of it. And uh, I think we're going to use the rest of this to try and make some planks in a different video and or to cut up some sections to make uh, new gardens. So, yeah, that'll either be here or on the main JT Bear channel. We shall see. But now I have the yard to clean up. So, there you go. Bringing down my first tree with the Ryobi 40 volt. Took a single battery to get all of this done. I'm impressed, not bad, and way better than having to drag a cord around or having to smell exhaust fumes. So, yeah, good on you, Ryobi. Thanks for watching, everybody. Have a great day.